Now to the race against time, an American woman still being held by ISIS after the world learned the news, the death of 26-year-old American Peter Kasich, the young aid worker and former Army Ranger whose parents made an impassioned plea for mercy. Tonight, something very different about the newest videos, the faces of ISIS fighters uncovered, a bold move as those U.S. airstrikes have yet to find them. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, with the fears over that American woman tonight. Tonight, U.S. officials have turned their focus to what this ISIS executioner may do with his final American hostage, a 26-year-old woman threatened with the same fate as Peter Kasich. Today in Indianapolis, Kasich's parents, Ed and Paula, asked for prayers for their son and for the others still being held captive. Pray also for all people in Syria, in Iraq, and around the world that are held against their will. Our hearts are battered, but they will mend. The world is broken, but it will be healed in the end. Their 26-year-old son, Peter, was in Syria as a volunteer medic. In captivity, Kasich even converted to Islam and changed his name to Abdul Rahman. But none of that made any difference to ISIS. This is Peter Edward Kasich. The masked man with a British accent, dubbed by some Jihad John, announced Kasich's beheading just as he had done with American journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff. But in this ISIS video, there was no effort to hide the location, with obvious landmarks of buildings, roads, and farmland. Every effort's being made inside the government to identify him and find where he's located. It's absolutely essential that we bring this individual to justice. On the same ISIS video, Jihad John is shown leading more than a dozen unmasked ISIS fighters in a chilling mass beheading. A gruesome but revealing scene, allowing intelligence officials to see the murderers' faces in the clear close-up, with one of them already identified as a 22-year-old citizen of France. One person not seen in that video, as U.S. officials pointed out to us today, was the young woman who was captured more than a year ago and is now believed to be the last American hostage being held by ISIS, David. All right, Brian Ross, thank you.